YouTubers? Um, JMB1701 here again with another Open G lesson for you. Rolling Stones Open G lesson. Got the acoustic out today because uh, just worked my way through Wild Horses and I thought I would uh, regale you guys with a short lesson. It's um, actually pretty easy, but it uh, requires some different chord shapes than we've learned in the past as far as the Open G stuff is concerned. So uh, without further ado, I'll just get right into it. So Wild Horses is, as usual, an open G. Um, now, I think what Keith's using is something called Nashville stringing, uh, which basically makes the strings up here sound, are, they're, they're, not, um, they're not strong with a regular set of strings. They're basically strong with all high strings or smaller strings and then it's tuned to whatever you want it to be tuned to so it gives it a tinny kind of high pitch sound um now for the purposes of just playing along with the song i think i'll just do that but i'll show you a couple tricks that you could use that can kind of make it sound a little bit closer to the recorded version even though you might not have a nashville tuned guitar but anyway so basically uh wild horses starts off with uh, the open G. Okay, now what that chord is, is basically you're making an A shape with these three fingers on the second fret and you're bringing your pointer finger down here to the uh, first fret of the B string. Now, uh, what's interesting is I used to just play the song like this. I used to just go. With just the, sorry, I thought I broke a string there. Um, it sounded like I did, but I didn't. Basically just laying the finger across here and going up. But it didn't sound quite right, and I couldn't figure it out. I actually watched another video on here and it unlocked the secret. That's basically it. It's like a B it's basically how you would play like a B chord on, on standard tuning, but um, that's just a little like there's a fill part in there that he does and I just kinda go to the uh, the trusty Keith shape. Now, when it goes into the verse, you're basically going to move this chord shape up two frets so that your A shape here with these three fingers is on the fourth fret and your pointer finger is on the third fret. So you're just hammering on. Now that part, a little trick I, I can show you here is uh, basically if you put your pointer finger on the uh, third fret of the B string and your ring finger on the 5th fret of the um, the D string here you get kind of a higher sound uh, a little bit, it brings the chord up to basically like I guess the next octave I guess it would be so when you do that and you could do it in the intro too you know But you know it, it gets a bit of, it gets to be a bit of a handful for me, so I just kind of dispense with it. Uh, but anyway, so the verse. Open back to the fourth fret shape. Um, that's, sorry, I don't know why I hit the fifth fret there. <laughs> I'm just screwing everything up. All right, it's easy to do. Then you're going to go back to that first and second fret shape. Then you're going to go up to the fifth fret. And that's just a lay across. Seventh fret. Open. Back to the seventh fret. Go back to the fourth fret. Graceless. Oh. 
Yeah, so right there going into the chorus, there's kind of a slick back there, you know. And now the chorus begins with, again, this sec first and second fret chord shape that I showed you at the beginning. Wow, wow, back up to the fifth fret. This is... Now, this is, a, this is an interesting part. Right? So basically, let me try that. Let me do that again so you don't miss it. I'll do a kind of a slowed down version. Wild, wild, fifth fret, horses. Wouldn't drag me away. Now, what I did there was I did the... The start me up shape, but <laughs> it really is. I swear to God, he he. I knew he was gonna fit it in here somewhere. You know, Keith. But basically, it starts on that. You basically play the open for one beat. So you're like, let me try that. I'm gonna show you it one more time so you don't miss it because it's really easy to miss, right? Wild, wild horses. So that part, as you just heard, I played that middle part where uh, Mick Taylor is soloing. Basically, it's just that part. He just kind of, uh, Keith just kind of does. <laughs> then back into the verse. Um, I don't think there's any more parts to this song. You basically just have to put it together, listen to the song, practice each part, and then just play it at its at its regularly scheduled interval, uh, so to speak. I'm gonna try to run through. I'll run through for everybody, and without playing, I'm not gonna play along with the song. But I'll, let me run through it for the most part. I'll show you guys it. You know, in it's some of its all, some of all its parts, so to speak. So. Uh, Okay. Intro. Another another verse, as you know. Um. Uh, 
you know, little things you can play with around there. But basically, that's the entire song. Um, you know, at the end, they basically just play the chorus out really hard and long, and obviously that's like the best part of the song. But hopefully that helps. You can put it all together, uh, listening to the song, kind of press and play and stop and listen to this video as usual. Um, you know, comment if anybody has any questions. Um, and um, hope you guys very much enjoy the lesson. Later.